Hey, yo, what up? Be okay in this motherfucker's gonna be okay in this motherfucker. Like, comment, subscribe, share, dislike, do all that, do something. Let show some love, right? And so y'all gonna wanna watch the entire video. At the very last part of the video is where I start exposing so much. I'm not even lying. Like, go watch that last part. It's like the last um, minute and 30 seconds. Like, bro, you, oh my God. It's one of them moments. Anyway, let's watch the video. Before, before I forget y'all, um, the sun is not gonna raise your vibration, right? So you could use any element from the earth to look. If that's the case, the earth should be raising your vibration. The water and the air should be raising your vibration. These elements should be raising your vibration, but you can use these elements in a negative connotation, right? You can use the sun, its energy, to burn and or shock people. Now, are you raising your vibration? No. So what I'm getting at is this, right? Every element can be used for negativity or positivity. So just because you working with moon, the moon, or using moon magic, you know what I'm saying? Um, first of all, let's, I told y'all before, if you stay up for a certain amount of days, you get moon brain and you start seeing things that the moon is sending toward the earth. Now, are you necessarily doing bad magic because you're using the moon? You know what I'm saying? No. So just because y'all be like, oh yeah, I'm going to sit in the sun and raise my... You're not raising your vibration by sitting in the sun, just so you know, right? And then furthermore, right, you get vitamin D from the sun... You get vitamin D from the sun just like you do the moon. So what are you talking about? You can Google that yourself. So you fear what you don't understand. You feel what I'm saying? You fear the fact that um, things can happen during the evening. And this is why a lot of y'all don't even consider the moon to be an asset. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm getting at is this, right? Um... Just because something is scary, okay, right. So during the day, you can't really see a lot of spirits. You can't see as many spirits as you could if you were looking during the evening, right? So y'all have to understand that um, you are basically lowering your vibration by not associating yourself with the moon as well. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you think, oh, the moon is going to power vampires and evil entities... The sun do the same thing, right? If you think like that, you will never be comfortable with seeing entities or spirits during the evening. You're the type to go in the closet and lock yourself in, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you're not raising your vibration. You're adding more fear if you're just using one element, you know what I'm saying? Or, con or not using, but you know what I'm saying? Conversing or, you know, uh, sharing energy with one element. So... Every element was here placed for a reason. By you using one element, you limiting yourself, you limiting your consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Your higher self will never be reached as long as you constantly putting yourself in fear. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all think, oh, it's witch magic and it's like, which type of magic is it? Is what you should be asking yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, so really consider what you would think to be... Hey, hey, hey. Consider what you would think to be um, negative or something that's not conducive to your spiritual walk and just, like, see how it really plays out in your life. Go through your own experiences before you just hop on a bandwagon and, oh, yeah, it's powering the bad people. Like, bro, grow up. So you fear what you don't understand. You feel what I'm saying? You fear the fact that um, things can happen during the evening and this is why a lot of y'all don't even consider the moon to be an asset you know what I'm saying so what I'm getting at is this right um, just because something is scary okay right so during the day you can't really see a lot of spirits you can't see as many spirits as you could if you were looking during the evening right so y'all have to understand that um, you are basically lowering your vibration by not associating yourself with the moon as well. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you think, oh, the moon is going to power vampires and evil entities, the sun do the same thing, right? 
if you think like that, you will never be comfortable with seeing uh, entities or spirits during the evening. You're the type to go in the closet and lock yourself in, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you're not raising your vibration. You're adding more fear if you're just using one element, you know what I'm saying? Or, con or not using, but you know what I'm saying? Conversing or, you know, uh, sharing energy with one element. So every element was here placed for a reason by you using one element you limiting yourself you limiting your consciousness you know what i'm saying your higher self will never be reached as long as you constantly putting yourself in fear you know what i'm saying a lot of y'all think oh it's witch magic and it's like which type of magic is it is what you should be asking yourself you know what i'm saying mm. um so really consider what you would think to be hey 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 Consider what you would think to be um, negative or something that's not conducive to your spiritual walk and just like see how it really plays out in your life. Go through your own experiences before you just hop on a bandwagon and oh yeah, it's powering the bad people. Like bro, grow up, you know what I'm saying? But this is part one. I got some good videos coming out for y'all this weekend. I know it's week like the the end weeks right the the ending for the week people i understand what it mean but y'all know what i'm talking about right so over this weekend you know what i'm saying be looking out for plenty of good videos peace you gotta start embracing the dark how in the fuck was you born from the dark right in the cosmos out of a jj and you scared to go through the dark to see dog Listen, a lot of y'all is scared of the Grim Reaper and walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Y'all can't deal with y'all shadows. Anytime somebody talking about the shadow realm or anything, y'all have to start embracing your dark side, right? Not to say, oh, only it's yin and yang, right? Light and dark. You are made up of both. Don't think, oh, I'm just light. I'm a light being. Dog, you are being ignorant by doing that. You feel me? Y'all got to understand that. There is, um, okay, watch this. A lot of y'all will associate good with being nice, right? So you didn't, you wouldn't associate aggression or, you know, um, um, assertiveness with being nice for a lot of y'all. But for a lot of people, that is being nice. You know what I'm saying? That would be positive. It all comes down to, um, not your interpretation, that too. It all boils down to your intention, you know what I'm saying? So, when we consider light and dark beings, right, both beings need to exist. This is why you have white and black gods. You understand and understand what I'm saying? People needed to understand that, bro, it's a lot going on, y'all. Y'all got to understand that each and every god was placed here for a specific reason, right? And don't think that just because you black, you didn't have anything to do with the European empire. Black people were there and are there to this day. So understand and understand that, bro. So, right, just watch whatever you're doing and, and try to see. Because you can turn something, you can, your dark side could turn something into something positive. And what I'm saying is, right, you can, there could be two people about to do something, right? And your light side could be like, I want to break it up. But your dark side could be like, turning up like, dog, get the fuck out of here. Like, literally. And now these people don't even want to, you know what I'm saying? Because you brought that side of yourself out. You feel me? So you have to embrace your dark side and use it when necessary. People like to overstimulate and use their light side too much and that's how you get ran over and people like to use their dark side too much and that's how you exit the matrix quick you feel what i'm saying so y'all have to understand there has to be a balance you have to understand and understand when and where to do things and then you have to apply these things in a a, a, a format to where it's going to be conducive to your life instead of something that's negative negatively you know affecting your life you feel me so yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Everything ain't, oh, it's light, so I'm going to see fairies. Oh, it's dark, so I'm going to see demons. No, it's both, fam. Yeah.